this is for next season, man. Who are you most excited to see for the Bruins uh, when the opening weekend comes around for us in September? I feel like I'm not going to overthink it. I feel like number one has got to be Dorian Thompson Robinson. Last year, I think he led the Pac-12 and yards per game and passer rating and touchdowns and uh, even even improved his touchdown to turnover ratio, wasn't fumbling anymore. Uh, you can make an argument he was the best quarterback in the Pac-12 last year. Obviously, Cam Rising came or came along a little later, and, and Utah did more late in the season, um, which isn't – I mean, Doran Thompson Robinson closed the year 4-0 and and then wasn't able to play the bowl game. But say Cam Rising was maybe number one and Torian was like a 1B. Now you got Caleb Williams coming in for USC, so he's stealing a lot of spotlight. But Dorian Thompson Robinson could put together the best season of any quarterback in the Pac-12 this year. Uh, that's just how it is. The production that he's had the past couple of years is growth. It's definitely in 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 the question, in, in the picture. That's something that can definitely happen. There's a lot of different question marks with Sean Ryan and Alec Anderson leaving. No Brent Brown, uh, no Greg Dulcich, Kyle Phillips. So he's losing his weapons and his protection a little bit. So part of this is he could be the best quarterback in the Pac-12. And the other part is I, I need to see how he adjusts to all these important guys leaving around him, how he adapts. Number one in total TDs in the Pac-12 in 2021, highest PFF grade in 2021, number one adjusted passing yards per attempt, and then number one in total yards per play. I mean, that is all for the Pac-12. Dorian Thompson Robinson really took that next step that we had really envisioned for him since he got to UCLA. This guy can absolutely ball. And the areas that... You know, we saw him grow in was he finally started to take the top off with his running ability and make plays. He almost more than doubled his rushing total, uh, his highest total coming into last year. He got to 609 yards on the ground, nine touchdowns, almost double digits. And, you know, it was kind of some of those head scratching turnovers that we've seen from Dorian in the past. He still had a few of those here and there. I mean, the USC game comes to mind. Um, I think a lot of it's been swept under the rug because his first two passes against SC were actually intercepted. I was, like We all remember the hurdle and the big plays, but it was <laughs> not pretty to start that game for Dorian Thompson Robinson. But, you know, you nailed it, man. I think he's got a real chance to be the, you know, best quarterback in the Pac-12. And we had Brian Fenley, a friend of the show, on. He does the coaches show with Chip Kelly. I go, is it crazy to say that he could be the best quarterback in the Pac? He took it a step further. He goes, I think he's a dark horse Heisman. Player. This guy can absolutely play. So if Thompson Robinson can put it all together, I think that's there. And then you add to the fact, Sam, that he's within striking distance of a couple big records at UCLA. 14 touchdowns away from Brett Hundley's record of 75 uh, from tying that. Uh, roughly 3,200 yards passing behind Kate McNown's record of over 10,000 yards through the air there. And, I mean, he's only nine TDs away rushing uh, from breaking in the top 10 of the all-time rushing touchdowns list for UCLA Bruins. So DTR with a big season on the horizon. Sam I am takes the quarterback we're all talking about in Westwood. DTR with the first pick. I love it.